two travelers were going along a dusty road that had no trees along its sides. The sun was extremely hot. Looking for some shelter from the hot sun, they saw a tree with big leaves and branches spread like an umbrella. They placed their belongings on the ground and sat in the cool shade of the tree. After taking some rest, one traveller said to the other, What a useless tree it is! It bears no fruits at all. Hearing this, the tree felt hurt and said, You are taking shelter in my cool shade from the burning heat of the sun and then calling me useless? It is very unfair of you. The travellers felt ashamed of themselves. Always be grateful. It's story time. Dino is a friendly dinosaur. She eats only leaves. She is very tall and green in color. One day, she went out to have some leaves for dinner. She saw a big tree full of leaves. She opened her mouth for a bite. Oh no! Please don't eat us! She heard a voice say. Dino looked down carefully. There was a small nest of a sparrow. Dino saw three tiny eggs in it. How cute! Dino thought. The mother sparrow was flying up and down, scared. I will not eat your eggs, Dino said. I am a vegetarian. She smiled and walked away. The sparrow was happy. Who is a vegetarian? Are you a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian? Be kind always. Let us listen to a story. Have you seen a river? Rivers give us water to drink and fish to eat. Do you love rivers? It's your river. It's a turtle's river too. Fish belong to the river. Dragonflies are born in water. Water beetles belong in water. Ducks swim in water. Naughty frogs love water too. Rivers carry a lot of plants too. Whose river is it? It's our river. Let us listen to a story. Bulbul, the bird, wanted to build a nest and lay eggs. She asked the mango tree, Can I build a nest and lay eggs in it? No, said the mango tree. Bulbul flew to the jackfruit tree and said, Please allow me to build a nest and lay eggs. Go away, the jackfruit tree said. Bulbul said to the apple tree, Can I build a nest? Yes, you may, said the kind apple tree. Bulbul thanked the apple tree and she built a beautiful nest and laid eggs in it. The apple tree happily watched the eggs hatch and the young birds chirped and danced on its branches. Do you know the moral of the story? Help others whenever you can. Are you a kind person? Listen to the story 
about Elsie the baby elephant. Elsie is a baby elephant. Elsie loves her mother very much. Elsie's mother lets her play in the water. Every day Elsie goes to the nearby pond. Elsie splashes water by jumping in. She loves to see a lot of bubbles forming in the water. When she goes deep, she lifts her trunk up. Sometimes she goes under the water too. She is not allowed to remain in water for too long because she may catch a cold. Elsie loves bananas very much. After the bath, her mother gives her bananas to eat. Elsie eats her bananas and goes out to play. Elsie is a fine baby elephant. Do you like to spend happy times with your mother? Are you a fine child? Naughty Monsi. There was a group of monkeys. The youngest one was very naughty. His name was Monsi. One day the monkeys saw a woodcutter cutting the bark of a tree. When he stopped for lunch, he carefully placed the sharp axe in a corner. When he turned away, Monsi took the heavy axe. He climbed up a tree and started cutting a branch of the tree. An old monkey told Monsi to keep the axe away. But the naughty monkey kept on cutting the branch till it broke. Monsi and the branch fell hard on the ground. Monsi was heard and decided to listen to the elders. Do you know the moral of the story? Obey your elders. Let us listen to a story. The Fox and the Stock Once a fox invited a stock to dinner and served it some soup in a flat dish. The stock, with its long beak, could not feed itself from the flat dish. The fox said, I hope you are enjoying the tasty meal I prepared. The stock merely looked on helplessly. And so, the fox lapped up its share too. After a few days, the stock invited the fox to dinner and served it food in a dish with a long and narrow neck. The fox could not eat from the jug. The fox realized its mistake and apologized to the stock. Do you know the moral of the story? Be kind and helpful to all. Let us listen to the story. Mia was a naughty little fish. She loved swimming on her own. Her mother was worried. Don't go far, Mia. You are still a baby, reminded her mother. Mia nodded her head. One day, when her mother was out, Mia swam deep into the ocean. Suddenly, she saw a shark. Frightened, Mia hid inside an empty shell. She was shivering with fear. The shark went away without finding Mia. Mia learned a lesson. Then she obeyed her mother always. Do you obey your parents? Good children do. Let us listen to a story. Folk House and a Lion Once upon a time, they lived Folk House. Every day, they used to graze together in a particular spot. They were all friends. One day, a lion saw the cows grazing together. The lion wanted to eat them, so he tried to catch them. 
When the cows saw the lion, all of them together drove him away. A few days passed, the cows quarrelled between themselves and started grazing separately. One by one, the lion killed all of them. Do you know the moral of this story? It is not good to fight. You must enjoy your time together. Andy and Hopper Hopper was a lazy grasshopper. One sunny day, he was hopping and singing in the fields. He saw an ant that was carrying a grain with great effort. It was Andy, the ant. Hopper told Andy, Why are you working so hard? Come, play with me. Andy said, I can't play with you. I am collecting food for the winter. The grasshopper laughed and said, There is so much time left before winter sets in. Andy continued to do her work. Hopper did not collect any food. Then winter set in. Hopper could not find any food. He was so hungry. Andy sat happily at home. Andy felt sorry for the grasshopper and shared its food with Hopper. The grasshopper thanked the ant and decided not to waste time ever again. Do you know the moral of this story? Do not waste time.